Hello everyone and welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> just kidding. This is just going to be a little bit, uh, I don't know, a short tutorial hopefully over um, some print and cut mm, details. Let's say that. It's not going to be a full print and cut tutorial. Um, I want to really mainly focus on bleed and what I see mentioned a lot on Facebook that's really inaccurate information. So let's talk about bleed. What bleed is, is it's for print and cut projects and it is going to bleed your color out slightly around your design. So if the machine cut is not exactly accurate, that you don't have a white border. So if the cut is off slightly, it's gonna be cutting into that bleed where it's extended the color out a little bit. And you just, you don't want, you know, a white border around something if your stickers you know, blue or yellow. I, this one's white in this case, just because Design Space has given me fits and it's easier to do it white. <laughs> that's why I've changed my canvas to gray here. So uh, that's what bleed is for. Now it has another really great benefit. And that is that if you send this to your printer to make it and you have all this blurry, fuzzy, you know, ink all around or color, all around your design where you don't want it to cut, you know there's a problem. So with the bleed on, it's gonna signal you, hey, I'm not created correctly, and you're gonna need to go back all the way to the canvas, and you're gonna have to figure out what it is. Nine times out of 10, it's because it hasn't been flattened, and it hasn't been flattened to a solid shape. That's usually why you see bleed when it's not supposed to be. So. In other words, if you were to see the bleed around this, this the uh, Cricut is not gonna just cut around this outside shape. It's gonna cut all in here, wherever you see the bleed, and it'll cut the outside shape, but we don't want all this cut. So having the bleed on is a really great reason to, uh, or a really great reason to have it on is so you can tell that your project has not been created correctly. So like I said, a lot of the times uh, you're gonna see the bleed when you haven't flattened it or you don't have a solid shape. So a lot of times you're gonna just want maybe a square or a circle or something like that behind your project, especially if you're making say stickers or something like that, or an offset. Now this design was just in design space that I pulled up, so it was already like this. So, but this kind of looks like an offset that you would get. So if you were to offset this design and get this border, remember to go to contour and fill in any little spots. If you don't want them cut, you're gonna have to fill in any little spots because sometimes like up in here when there's not where there's not a lot of anything you're going to get little holes in your offset so just be sure uh, to go to contour if you don't want those to cut and make it solid and then have it sent to the back so um, this is I'm going to first of all try to mimic I don't, the color wasn't working real great earlier but I'm going to try to mimic when something is created incorrectly so if you can see here we've got two layers we've got the back layer which is a cut layer we've got this layer which is a print and cut layer right now but when we send it to print and cut we want it combined or flattened into one layer even if you had 15 layers here you can flatten it all into one and that way the Cricut doesn't see any of this in here it doesn't worry about it that's what's going to be printed on your home printer all the Cricut's going to worry about is this outside shape right here. So we do not want it into two layers because the Cricut is going to see this one and think it needs to be cut and see this one and thinks it needs to be cut. So we don't want that for this layer. So if we took those two layers and attach, attaches, we use attach so much that it's easy, you know, to accidentally attach something. And then you go to make it. You're going to leave your bleed on. It's right here. It's on by default, so you would have to turn it off if you wanted to. We're going to print it, and we're going to see this. And this is not what we want because everything in here is all filled in, and all this is blurry, and there's too much color around it, and that is because the bleed is on and the project has not been printed or uh, created correctly. So what happens is somebody goes to Facebook and says, this is what my project looks like, what's wrong? And everybody's advice, or most of the advice, is to turn the bleed off. So people go back to their print screen, They turn the bleed off. 
they go back. Oh, it looks perfect. Well, guess what? It's not. Because if you just went and turned the bleed off and didn't go back to your canvas to fix the project, this is going to print and then it's going to cut and it's going to cut everywhere that you just saw that bleed. It's going to cut all these letters out. It's going to cut the sprinkles out and it's going to cut around the edge, which is obviously not what we want. So when people turn, tell p others to turn the bleed off without fixing the project, you're not fixing anything. Yes, that was the bleed and yes, turning it off makes it look good, but it is not going to cut correctly. You have to go back to your canvas and figure out what you have done wrong. And 99% of the time, either a background has not been uh, added to the back. I'm not sure what I just did. Either a background has not been added to the back or it has not been flattened. So we want to detach it. You could leave it attached, but there's no reason to stack actions. I always detach and then flatten. And now, as you can see, we have our one layer like I was talking about. So the Cricut's not gonna pay a bit of attention to what's in the middle of it. It's only gonna focus on the outside because that's what we've told it here, that we want it to cut only around the outside and not the letters. So just turning off bleed is not going to fix anything. It's going to look right, but it's going to cut incorrectly. So when I go back to the system dialog and look at it, it's going to look exactly like it did when we had attached it and turned the bleed off. But this time it's correct. <laughs> it is not, or it's going to just cut right around this outside. It's not going to cut anywhere in here. So that is exactly what, it, what we want it to look like. And I know it looks the same, but just remember that if you're seeing that coming up, if you're seeing the bleed in places you don't want the bleed, and you only go back to the printing preferences and turn the bleed off, you're not fixing the issue. That's why flattening and leaving the bleed on is so important. So a lot of people say, well, I do my projects and they're perfect and I never have bleed on. That can totally be the case, but there's never a need to turn it off unless you're sublimating or you're hand cutting or something like that. There's just no need. It's an extra little step. It's something to remember to do because it's on by default. And there's just no reason because if you took this project and you only wanted, did I flat? Yeah. And you only wanted this part and you did want it to cut around all this, you're going to send it to print and it's going to look crazy because you're going to see all that bleed in between here. But when it cuts, it's going to cut off that bleed. You're not even going to be able to tell that bleed was on once it gets through cutting, especially with little tiny lines and stuff like this, because our machines just aren't that accurate. They're pretty accurate. Just it, that's a very small spot. So when you have that colored bleed, it, bleed out just a little bit. So if the machine does cut around this, you're just never going to know that the bleed was there. Your project is going to look fine just like it would have without the bleed on and probably better because if you didn't have the bleed on you are very likely to get some white outlines around it. So can you do it without bleed? Sure. There's just never a reason to and most of the time you want it on for those two very beneficial reasons that I've already talked about. So I hope that helps somebody and thanks for watching.